As one of the main industrial powers of Asia during the last half of the 20th century, and well into the 21st century, Japan has produced some of the most iconic brands, including Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Suzuki, or Mitsubishi, and chances are you may have rode on a vehicle made by any of the mentioned companies or currently drive one yourself. One of those brands within the last decade, Mitsubishi, has been working on a new entry in the commercial aviation industry, which for the most part has been long dominated by Boeing and Airbus. Though Mitsubishi is entering a segment of an industry that is highly lucrative, but also highly competitive. Dubbed the Space Jet, it is looking to be the global premier regional jet, and this aircraft and Mitsubishi's efforts in the aviation industry will be the topic of this video. While Japan has been a major industrial player in Asia and the world, Mitsubishi's new Space Jet is the first entry into the global commercial aviation industry since the YS-11 was produced in the 1960s and the 1970s. While Japan does have a small history in commercial aircraft manufacturing, several brands such as Mitsubishi and Kawasaki has produced aircraft for the Japanese military, which as a topic itself would require a full video to discuss. Also, another note to make is while Japan has not domestically produced a commercial aircraft for nearly half a century, parts for aircraft made by Boeing and Airbus are often supplied from Japan, including the wings for the Boeing 787s. For the development of what we now refer to as the space jet, the vision to produce this new regional jet came about from the Japanese government in 2003 with a new initiative led by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, one of the core companies of the conglomerate, the Mitsubishi Group, which debuted its concept for a 70 to 90 seat aircraft, which would compete with other regional jet offerings from the likes of Bombardier and Embraer at the 2007 Paris Air Show. Following the introduction of the concept and to better organize and market the aircraft, Mitsubishi would form a new company named the Mitsubishi Aircraft Corporation in 2008. Based in Nagoya, Japan, in the heart of Japan's industrial center, the new aircraft company would be a majority owned by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries with a 64% majority stake in the company. Now there are other shareholders in the company but it may interest some that other well-known Japanese companies such as Toyota Motor have a stake in the company. That year, the Mitsubishi Aircraft Corporation launched the initiative called the Mitsubishi Regional Jet Program, with the first regional jet, the MRJ, as its maiden product, which received its first order for 25 aircraft from Japan's All Nippon Airways, with an initial plan to enter service in 2013. The first two variants of the MRJ, the MRJ-70 and the MRJ-90. Since 2008, there has been a series of delays due to technical and testing issues, including a delay in the Pratt & Whitney supplied engines, the PW-1200G, which pushed the launch date back as the aircraft manufacturer was acquiring new orders, including from Japan Airlines and several US-based regional airline services. And the first test flight of the MRJ-90 took place in 2015, only to be followed by more delays due to inadequate paperwork and documentation of the testing phase. After changes were made to the avionics of the aircraft, and heavy financial losses as a result of the decade-long development process, Mitsubishi received clearance from the Japan Civil Aviation Bureau for certification test flights by the end of 2018. In 2019, Mitsubishi rebranded the program as the Space Jet with the M90 and the M100, with the M100 replacing the RMRJ-70. While it's not necessarily making large commercial aircraft like Boeing 737s or 787s or the Airbus A320 or A350s, Mitsubishi is entering a highly competitive field of regional jet players dominated by the likes of Canadian Bombardier and Brazilian Embraer as well as China's entry, the ARJ-21. Though these aircraft may be smaller in terms of size and capacity, they play an important part in aviation today, as they are often used by smaller regionally based airlines that connect cities one or two hours away from a major air hub, which benefits an airline such as United Airlines, which has a hub at Newark Liberty Airport, its base in the New York City area. 
where you can easily catch a flight to other U.S. cities or international destinations. However, while there are 737 and Airbus A320 aircraft used on domestic destinations, some airports are not able to handle these kind of aircraft or there just isn't enough demand for the route to be using that aircraft. And this is where regional aircraft come in. As United's regional subsidiary, United Express would operate routes from Newark to cities such as Rochester, Syracuse, Buffalo, and Hartford, where chances are there's at least a few passengers who will be making connections on other United flights from Newark. While the United States is the biggest market for these kind of aircraft, you may also see these regional jets connecting travelers from airports that usually don't handle 737s or A320s. Similar to its counterpart built by Bombardier and Embraer, with the 70 to 100 seat capacity, including a special 76 seat configuration for US airlines to adhere to union contracts regarding the limits of size and capacity for regional airlines operated aircraft in the United States. The space jet will have a maximum range at full capacity at around 2,000 nautical miles, good enough for a typical 3-4 to four hour trip. Now it's interesting to note that Mitsubishi is advertising the aircraft with a fuel efficiency and usage lower than its competing aircraft, and with the uncertainty of fuel prices these days. This could be a key point of interest for any airline looking to purchase these aircraft, which Mitsubishi has reported had, has received over 200 orders highlighted by the Japanese carriers Japan Airlines and All Nippon Airways. In the target market of the US, the Space Jet has received orders from Mesa Airways and Skyjet, which operates regional jet services for the US Big 3 Airlines United, Delta, and American. According to Mitsubishi's estimates in 2008, for the project of nearly 2 billion US dollars has more than tripled as it now estimates that the cost for the program could reach 7.4 billion US dollars by 2020, which would require well more than the 400 orders that Mitsubishi estimated to make the aircraft recoup the costs of production. And this has not been helped by a cancellation of orders by Transit Holdings, which owns several US-based regional carriers, and a loss of a supplier Torre, which has made the tail section parts for the space jet. Despite the setbacks, Mitsubishi is still remaining hopeful that the aircraft will become the premier choice for regional airlines when it comes to aircraft, as it purchased Bombardier's CRJ program. Though Mitsubishi and Japan is gaining from Bombardier's exit from the commercial aircraft program, Mitsubishi is also indirectly competing with Boeing and Airbus, with Airbus taking over the C-Series and renaming it the A220, and Boeing's efforts to form a joint venture with Embraer has been some of the biggest aviation news so far this year. Mitsubishi is probably looking to fill the void of the CRJ, though some will point out that the CRJ venture of Bombardier was a losing venture, and the space jet program would need to get large bulk orders from airlines to turn things around financially. With that said, Mitsubishi has some good things going on for it, including the use of facilities in the United States and Japan for development and testing which does add credibility to the program. Though will it be enough to overcome the challenges the Mitsubishi program and the space jet currently faces? Thank you for watching. This has been another edition of Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene from the Asia Pacific. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Once again, thank you for watching and have a great day.